Babe, what's been going on? Oh, Pandy's. Kerry, how was the trip? Yeah, fine. Is everyone all right? Well, she won't be if I find a near Jack or Sarah again. Uh, excuse me. If you're playing hide and seek, you can go somewhere else. Ah, uh, we do some photocopies. No, I will not. I'll pay you. Well, a little bit. My dog has gone missing. Bye, Sean. Are you telling me the kids were there? Yes, she was supposed to be babysitting them. Well, what the hell happened? She got drunk. She passed out with the fag and set fire to the place. Jack was asleep upstairs and Sarah was searching the streets looking for her dad. And where was he? It doesn't matter, Mum. She was supposed to be looking after them. God knows what you ever saw in her. And what's your dad had to say about this? Well, we had a row. He left. What do you mean? I mean, he left. Walked out on us. After all this? Why? I don't know. You'll have to ask him. And when you do, just tell him that you can stay away. I'm better off without him. Got your message. Yep. You should have been in Doncaster two hours ago. Uh, you need the paperwork. I'm not going Doncaster. Or anywhere else. Oh. So why are you here? Came to say I'm not running round for you anymore. If you want a skiver, find somebody else. Oh. Robbie, look. I'm sorry. <laughs> so heartfelt. No, I mean it. But, you know, with, with everything else going on... What? Like, dumping your kids with a drunk while you spend the night with Kirk? From what I heard, it's a good job Sarah woke up, or maybe you wouldn't have to worry about your kids anymore. I didn't know that she'd been drinking. You take advantage of people. This is what happens. Robbie, wait. Listen, I'm sorry, all right? I've treated you badly. I like having you about. To use? No, not to use anymore. You're a mate, I hope. You must be pretty desperate to get that job done. Forget about the job. This is more important. Oh, come on. I'm trying my best here. So, we good? I guess, but you... No. Can't. Don't worry. No more messing you about. You sure this is a good idea? I can't see him being too happy about it. Oh, I'm worried he's going to kneecap you. You can always go. Nah, of course not. I want to help. Well, he decided to leave. I'm just making sure he doesn't change his mind. What are you going to do with it all? Hmm. Bonfire? Oh, I'll tell him to pick it up. Hey, want me to mention how helpful you've been? Very funny. It's better like this. For the kids. Anyway, it's about time he realised I really don't need him. Ready? Right, I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm heading back. She was weaning you up. Oi, Grumpy. Or yourself. Hey, what have I told you about running across the road? Calm down. Hey, don't be cheeky, you. Have you got something to say to me? Sarah, why don't you uh, go and get more of a sticky bump on the counter? That's not very romantic. Well? In front of the kids, everything's as it was. But to you, I've got nothing to say at all. You don't get to call the shop. I think I just did. Bye, Ugly. Bye, Ugly. Can I have a hot milk, please? Yeah, babe. Debbie. I lost the baby because it happens. It had nothing to do with you, and he should never have said that. So you're letting him stay at yours? Sorry? You know he got physical with me, right? Well, he said things got a bit heated, yeah. Excusing him already. Now, hang on. You know what? You're just a pathetic doormat. Well, if you spoke to him like that, I'm surprised he didn't rip your head off. We're down to his old T-shirts and his something. Should have done this ages ago. It's weird, living with your dad at my age. Hey, I live with my mum. Yeah, but I've always known you're not right. Well, it's a massive house. Mind you, if she had her way. Mm. You could be all cosy in that cottage up the road. Yeah, I could gag. <laughs> anyway, you should be having fun. Not cooking and washing some old geezer socks. What do you know, Robbie? Well, you're the one who said it was weird. I've got two kids and two businesses. I don't need fun, I need help. Mm. Why can't you have both? Because I did. With Cameron. And look how that turned out. You're better off on your own. Oh, brilliant. 
We're just you for company. <sighs> Fancy a brew? I prefer a beer. Well, the pub's across the road, see ya. A brew will be fine. Oh, you're gonna have to go to the shop. What? No milk. Oh, go on, be a mate. And I promise I will try to be nicer. Is Grumpy angry with you? No, babe. He is. Be friends. <sighs> okay. Good. Present. Check. Card. Check. You looking party fabulous. Check. Hey, um, I thought that we might drop in to see him on the, on the way to Lola's party. Yeah. But first, I need to tell you something, all right? And it's a little bit sad, but it's a little bit happy. What is it? I should speak to Charity again. It's just been too quiet. Well, I'd hate for this to blow up in your face. You wanted to nut her earlier. I want to nut you most days. Only us. Yeah, only us barging in. That's okay. We'll see. These are for you from home so you don't forget me and Jack. That's for you when you had no hair. Why would I forget you? Mum says you're going to live with Myra all the time because she's lonely. Yeah, poor Myra. I don't mind, because Mum says I can have proper pocket money now. Oh, well, look at you. I'll still see you lot. It'll just be different. Yeah, well, change is as good as a rest. Right, babe, go and get in the car, because we're running late. Don't be sad. Mum says it's for the best. Yeah, babe, all for the best. See you, Oakley. Say it then. Um, see you, Oglia. So, if you see us... You'll be busy, you won't have time, you'll have to rush off. That's how it'll be from now on. Look, don't do this. Oh, I could just tell her the truth. <laughs> that Grumpy calls me a slag. That Grumpy says I kill babies, or just that I'm a bad mother. I really think you would as well. Yeah, only one way to find out, Doormat. You need me more than I need you. But as long as you don't need your grandchildren, because you've just lost them.